Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News, recording from my lovely sun porch here at my mobile studio in Aquidneck Island, Newport, Rhode Island, and we've got some content to get to today. Not too much going on in the world of Bachelor Nation, but Blake Horseman responds to toxic fans who want him to choose sides in the Caitlin Bristow, Jason Tartik divorce or they weren't divorced they were broken up they were engaged but either way this might be unsettling for some people here uh, because runner 2008 says why is this an endless conversation on this breakup and my response was buck up it's what we do and i kind of feel like that should be a koozie do we need another koozie damn right we do buck up it's what we do all right so anyway let's get into it and i've got more for that commenter in a second but by all means don't get mad at me commenter for calling you out like jamie did jamie was disappointed in my podcast and thought i would spend more time talking about the things she wanted me to talk about my response was uh, you're being kind of annoying and uh you know uh, what did i say why the hell would you comment that on a show that i'm promoting my stand-up poster and then their response was how dare you call me out and then they leave me a one-star review so please don't do that to me we're all having fun here if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be making content while I'm, uh, you know, traveling with my family for a wedding. But either way, I've had a coffee. I'm re- I'm uh, geared up and ready to go. Buck up, folks. And that's <laughs> I think that's going to be my new, uh, my new way to start the show. Let's start over. Hey, guys, it's Dave Neal. Buck up. Let's get into it. So Jason Tartik breaks over Caitlin Bristow, and then he's spotted with lookalike younger version of him, Joey, who's the next Bachelor. They were at the uh, U.S. Open, the Us Open, Us Weekly, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's, it, what, does Us Weekly sponsor the U.S.? Is it Us Weekly or U.S. Weekly? It's the it's the Us Open. So either way, uh, Jason says, when your buddy tells you he's going on The Bachelorette and then becomes The Bachelor, and that's pretty much what happened. And speaking of someone who almost became The Bachelor, having gone on The Bachelorette, was fellow bad boy, Buck Up star, Blake Horstman. And here's Blake Horstman with grocery store Joe, now a taken man, just got married for the second time, and Jason Tartik, who didn't get married, right? They broke up before they kind of got a date for their uh, wedding. And of course, hey, we're big big fans of Caitlin Bristow and big fans of Jason Tartik. It doesn't cost anything to support both, but we live in this world, this divisive world of the internet where it's like, you know, I, I, I live in California. I've got family in town from Florida. And it's like, it doesn't have to be one versus the other. It doesn't have to be Yankees versus Red Sox team. Uh, this, you know, is it the, is it a yellow dress or a green dress? You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, guys? All right. But that's the world we live in. Divisive, binary, left versus right. And here we have it. Uh, so Judd, Blake posts this, who has been around since we all walked out of a limo in 2018 together. So there they are, friends for life, having shared their dating, uh, you know, uh, uh, dating uh, Becca Kufrin. And after that, Blake gets a DM. We're going to go to that right now. He posts this, a banker, a grocer, and a beer salesman walk out of a limo in 2018. And then after that, someone sends a comment that says, looks like you are Team Jason, huh? And Blake Blake, you know, here's what I love about Blake, uh, other than a great hairline and he's a good DJ. Uh, but Blake does not take shit from nobody. Blake bucks up. He said, all right, I'm already sick of this BS. That This is his way of being like the dad who says, I'm going to turn this station wagon around. You know, just ready to flip the table when he loses a game of Monopoly. He said, y'all, there are no teams. Louder for the people in the back. These are two friends of mine who gave everything they had to a relationship that didn't work. I know you think you are helping, but you're not helping either of them by sliding into DMs or attacking people in comment sections. Let them heal on their own. They don't need your help. Very well said by Blake. And yet, and, and again, these are sort of tic tac things. It's certainly tic tac to make a video about, but I think there's a portion of my audience that likes this sort of adjacent uh, conversation that happens where, uh, you know, you've got alumni that are just sticking up for each other. You, you know, it's very hard for the audience to empathize with what they go through, but for every time he gets a comment like this, I'm telling you, he gets 100 comments just like that. Uh, it doesn't take far to look into my own comment section. A comment section I have so desperately, so desperately tried to regulate, so desperately tried to encourage compassion, empathy, grace, haven't I? Haven't we talked ad nauseum about that? And yet our comment section still falls into, not to be rude, you know, someone left a comment the other day, and I don't, I don't hate the person for it, but they were like, 
Sorry, not sorry. They said the, they said the main things that you say before you're about to leave a shitty comment. Sorry, not sorry. Da, ba, 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 ba. Just my opinion. Ba, 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 ba. It's like, oh my gosh. Here we think we are all a bunch of individuals with free choice and uh, you know body autonomy and living in the land of the free. And yet there's really only eight types of commenters. Those that get what I do that believe in me, that understand I'm running a business, I'm trying to push out content, I'm not trying to waste your time, I'm trying to provide insightful commentary based on what I have to work with. And then there's other people that say, why are you still talking about this? Aren't we done talk? Are we still talking about Dale Moss's toes? Look real closely, get close to the screen. I will talk about Dale's toes until the last toenail falls off. And then we'll have a conspiracy. Cue the X-Files music. Dale's toes have all fallen off. Why is Dave not talking about his toes falling off? What could this all be about? If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But you ride with me. And I will take those that ride with me over those that go, I just came for the Hannah Brown update. Why are you interjecting in between every other sentence? sentence because that's what we do folks and Blake is similar he kind of is cut from the same cloth where he's just not taken he's got that cool runnings where you know what is that I'm a badass no what I'm a bad mother effer who ain't taking no shit from nobody whatever you know you know the line I'm talking about maybe you don't either way I could play you all these different clips I was going to play from the different, you know, uh, trading secrets interviews, you know, but instead I'll just continue reading my comment section. There's nothing else to say about Blake Horseman here other than my job is to get you to click on my video and then trust that I'm going to try to entertain the hell out of you guys until it's over. Runner 2008, why is this an endless conversation on this breakup? Buck up. It's what we do. He goes, I'm bucked up. I enjoy your podcast, but this is excessive in my opinion. So he could have said, sorry, not sorry. No, listen, runner 2008, we love you. I'm not here to call you out. We're just having fun. This is how I have fun. Um, and then another comment, several micro topics, several micro important topics discussed in this video alone, but in all of Dave's videos, really keep it going, Dave. Yeah, that's right. Uh, your boy, Dave Neal, power recapper, micro important Dave Neal over here. So my response, and I'm just going to read my full response to you guys, gear up, buck up, let's get into it. What's the alternative? Let me check my notes. No Matty Pruitt sermons. No Chris Harrison interviews. Welp, looks like I'm about to serve up another amazing video about Caitlin and Jason's breakup. Hey, I might even be short on time on my video, and I might even read what I'm typing right now. Fun Snapple fact here. Have some fun Snapple facts. Heavier, not bigger, lemons produce more juice. Mangoes can get sunburns. Before mercury, brandy was used in thermometers. Dolphins are unable to smell. Humans are one to two centimeters taller in the morning than at night. Not only no only child has ever been U.S. president. The longest attack of hiccups ever lasted 68 years. Camels have three eyelids. A camel's milk doesn't curdle. The first human-made object to break the sound barrier was a whip. Animals that lay eggs don't have belly buttons. Vermont is the only New England state without a sea coast. The most sensitive parts of your body are the mouth and fingertips. Napoleon suffered from a fear of cats. 40% of twins invent their own language. It takes 200 muscles to take a step. No two lip impressions are the same. Newborn babies cannot cry for at least the first three weeks. Wait, is that true? The first bike was called a hobby horse. <laughs> Beavers can hold their breath for 45 minutes. More Snapples facts? Ketchup was once sold as medicine. Squirrels lose more than half the nuts they hide. Oh, but that's a good metaphor for, for us right here. Oh, you lose more than half the nuts you hide. A day on Ven Venus lasts longer than a year on Venus. What? The, okay, that, because it slowly rotates. I got it. The most used letters in the alphabet are E, T, A, I, O, and N. A 10-gallon hat holds less than one gallon of liquid. Horses can't vomit. You can't hum while plugging your nose. Let me try that. Mm, yeah, I got a point. Okay, we all tried that there. Oh, hold on, we lost it. Hold on, hold on, folks. We lost it there. Okay. Yeah, the average speed of a house fly is 4.5 miles per hour. Is this okay, folks? Are we enjoying it? I'm enjoying this. I'm going to do this for another five minutes. In the Middle Ages, chicken soup was considered an aphrodisiac. A honeybee can fly roughly 15 miles per hour. 
The first VCR was made in 1956, and it was the size of a piano. Uh, some of you guys don't even know what a VCR is. In Texas, it is illegal to graffiti someone's cow. Are you guys bucked up? Leonardo da Vinci could draw with one hand while writing with the other. In 1634, tulip bulbs were used as a form of currency in Holland. Bees have five eyelids. The side of a hammer is called a cheek. A queen bee can lay between 800 to 1,500 eggs per day. Barbie's full name is Barbara Millicent Roberts. Elephants are afraid of bees. You don't have to be a lawyer to be a Supreme Court justice. All right, folks. Those are all of the comments I have for you today. I hope we learned a little bit. Did you know you couldn't hum with your nose closed? How many people tried it? <laughs> okay, well, we're at the end of our video. Um, there's nothing else to say about the relationship right now, but I pledge on my dying bed, on my dying deathbed, I will be making content about Bachelor Nation breakups so long as you guys want to watch them. Look, again, like I said before, I, I hate it when people get mad at what I say in response to them and then leave me a one-star review. Great podcast. Edit. Changed my feelings. He's a bully. I don't like that. I try my best to limit how often I respond to people in the comment sections, but at the same time, it's, it's just the comedian in me. I want to give you back the energy you give me. For every person that leaves me a really passive-aggressive or negative or or sort of entitled. I think I actually think entitled comments are the worst because if someone wants to leave me a negative comment, hey Dave, I hate your haircut. Okay, that's your opinion. But whenever someone's like, don't do this, do that. Why did you do that? Why did you read Snapple's facts for five minutes? Because I did. And I'm gonna try my best to give you guys the best content I can in a combination of information and entertainment. And when there's a lack of information, we're gonna to try to ramp up the entertainment. I might be back with a second video today. I honestly don't know. It's barrel scraping season. It's a couple weeks before we start the new season. And there truly, and I mean truly, is nothing else to talk about. Uh, but if there is, you know where to find me, right over here. I think we'll have another video today. I think we'll pull something out of our bums. Buck up and get ready for that, and then I'll have all of your entertainment news. Actually, if there's any day to enjoy the podcast over the YouTube, it'll be today, because I do have non-Bachelor entertainment news, which you can check out at Bachelor Rush Hour, where all the podcast content is. All right, love you guys. I'll see you in a little bit.